This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Front brake pads renewal. Open the driver's door and pull the bonnet release lever twice. Fully raise the bonnet. Using the locking wheel bolt adapter where necessary, slacken each of the wheel bolts half a turn. As there is limited clearance beneath the vehicle, unless you have access to a special low workshop jack, use pieces of wood as ramps to increase the clearance so that a regular jack can be used. Position the workshop jack head under the rear of the subframe with a piece of wood or rubber to spread the load. Raise the vehicle until the tyres are clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the sill jacking points, then remove the jack. Fully unscrew the bolts and remove the wheel. Turn the steering to full lock to improve access. Lever the caliper outward slightly to create clearance between the pads and the disc. A wear sensor is fitted to the left-hand inner brake pad and must be renewed if new pads are fitted. Pull the sensor from the pad and unclip it from the strut bracket. Release the wiring from the bracket on the inner wing. Prise out the plastic rivet, undo the screw and pull the section of the wheel arch liner away to expose the sensor wiring plug. Unclip and disconnect the sensor wiring plug. Use a slim open-ended spanner to counter-hold the guide pin, then unscrew and remove the lower guide pin bolt. Note that a new bolt will be required upon reassembly. Pivot the caliper body upwards and away from the brake pads. Secure the caliper in place using wire or a cable tie. Withdraw the inner and outer brake pads from the caliper mounting bracket. Remove the upper and lower shims. Measure the thickness of the pad friction material. If any pad is worn to the specified minimum thickness, all four front pads must be replaced. Clean the caliper body and mounting bracket. Brush the dust and dirt from the caliper and piston, but do not inhale it, as it may be a health hazard. Check the condition of the guide pins and gaiters. The guide pins should slide easily, but without excessive play. New pad kits often include new guide pin bolts and anti-rattle shims. If new brake pads are to be fitted, the caliper piston must be pushed back into the cylinder to make room for them. Keep an eye on the fluid level in the reservoir and remove any surplus with a syringe. Refit the anti-rattle shims to the caliper mounting bracket. Apply a thin smear of high temperature anti-seize grease to the piston face and inner caliper faces where they press against the pads. Apply a thin smear of grease to the pad backing plates where they contact the shims. Then fit the pads to the caliper mounting bracket. Ensure that the pad friction material is against the disc. Pivot the caliper back into position over the pads and mounting bracket. Insert the new lower guide pin bolt and tighten it to the specified torque. With both sets of front brake pads fitted, depress the brake pedal repeatedly until the pads are pressed into firm contact with the brake disc and normal pedal pressure is restored. Connect the new pad wear sensor wiring plug and clip it into place. Secure the wheel arch liner with the screw and plastic rivet. Clip the sensor wiring to the bracket on the inner wing, then slide it into the bracket on the strut. Slide the sensor into the left hand inner brake pad backing plate. Locate the wheel on the hub 
then insert and lightly tighten the retaining bolts. Raise the vehicle and remove the axle stands, then lower the vehicle to the ground. Tighten the bolts to the specified torque. Firmly close the bonnet.